scientific team regarding the shroud image. The actual image was created by a phenomenon as yet unknown, or a momentous event that caused a rapid cellulose degradation, aging, of the linen fibers. That is, an accelerated dehydration and oxidation of the very top linen fibrils of the cellulose fibers of the shroud, thereby creating a sepia or straw yellow colored image similar to that of a scorch. In other words, the image was caused by something, nobody knows what, that affected only the very top of the fibrils that make up the fibers that in turn make up the fabric. After thousands of hours of intense study, the world was left with yet another scientific enigma. A piece of fabric that is demonstrably handwoven containing a surface anomaly in the shape and form of a crucified man created by some process of undetermined origin. But how could an image containing so much information have been formed? There are those who believe the image could only have been formed by a burst of some sort of radiation. But the simple fact is, nothing like the shroud image has ever been found or reproduced. But that's only the beginning of the astounding information to be gleaned from this amazing image. In spite of skeptics and setbacks, scientists continue their search. And Dame Isabel Pitsick, a particle physicist, believes the shroud has brought science to the threshold of a whole new understanding of physics. While dealing with the position of the body within the cloth, she discovered one of those mysterious properties that cannot be, yet somehow is. An interface that divides the image transport into two hermetically separate yet simultaneous actions and forces causing the shroud to be taut and parallel on both sides, creating a true event horizon. In general relativity, we have found that there are certain things called black holes. Now, the surface of a black hole is called an event horizon. And it's called that because right at that surface, right at that surface, the laws of physics seem to change character drastically. When you look at the image of this rod, the two bodies next to each other, you feel that it's a flat image. But if you create, for instance, a three-dimensional object, as I did, the real body, then you realize that the, there is a strange dividing element, an interface, from which the image is projected up and the image is projected down. The muscles of the body are absolutely not crushed against the, the the stone of the tomb. They are perfect. It means that the body is hovering between the two sides of the shroud. What does that mean? That there is absolutely no gravity. Other strange things you discover that the, the image is absolutely undistorted. Now if you imagine that the cloth was wrinkled, tied, wrapped around the body and all of a sudden you see a perfect image which is impossible unless the shroud was made absolutely taut, rigidly taut. Everybody thinks that the tomb signifies death. Not at all, the exact opposite. The shroud and the tomb signifies an unbelievable beginning because we in the depth of the collapsed event horizon, there is something which science knows as singularity. This is exactly what started the universe in the Big Bang. We have nothing less in the tomb of Christ than the beginning of a new universe. For centuries, the shroud has been viewed and analyzed as a record of a death, the end of the physical being. But Isabel Pitsick is suggesting that it is, in fact, just the opposite. A record not of an ending, but a beginning, which would suggest resurrection in its truest sense. And according to Dame Pitsick, this is the starting base for the new physics. But is Isabel Pitsick out on a limb of physics where no one else wants to go? Perhaps not. Recently, a group of scientists trying to identify those things that are fundamental to the way nature works 
made some startling discoveries. Dr. Edgar Mitchell, the sixth man to walk on the moon, founder of the Institute of Noetic Sciences, author and lecturer, explains. The classical traditional model in physics, which began in Newtonian times, uh, d describes how particles and at atoms and molecules move and recombine. Even most of the 20th century, physicists only looked at the particle aspect of it and did not really concentrate very much on the informational aspect. And it's only really with the quantum hologram that we have brought information up to a par of importance with energy itself and with physicality so that we understand that the universe we live in not only exists because of its physicality, but it's understood because of its information. And this is a, a powerful new concept. And all physical bodies have such a holographic emission uh, that is available non-locally, which means throughout the universe, non-locally at all times. Could it be the event horizon demonstrated by the image on the shroud sent information instantaneously throughout the universe? And does this mean that the resurrection was a universal event? Physics has achieved a lot of success and we think that we have pretty much everything, but it turns out we know we don't. We know there are missing links. We know there are puzzles and infinities cropping up all the time. And believe me, people are working to find some answers. But in spite of our successes, there are still some mysteries abounding.